Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Dignan and I'm an outcomes and evaluation expert. And what I'm talking about here is how to break a program logic up or an outcomes model up into a number of sub pages so that it's easy for people to work with the model. Traditionally, people have tended to build program logic models or outcomes models. They go by a large number of different names. Uh, it, they've tended to try and cram them onto a single page. And this really can't do justice to the program, the complexity of the programs which we're planning these days. And it really leads to an oversimplification and, and often a disillusionment with the usefulness of program logics or outcomes models that we're producing. In one way, if we think about this problem of drawing program logics, which are models, visual models that set out all of the steps that we need to take in order to get through to outcomes, Thinking about it one way, it's really actually a visualization problem. It's a problem of creating a visual structure which a group of people or an individual can interact with, amend, edit, think about, use it as a thinking tool, use it as a discussion tool. But we need to have that in a way where people can actually visualize what they're working with. Because it's no longer satisfactory to have the situation as we've seen where people in the past often people will put up a uh, on screen a, a model of some sort uh, to a, a group of stakeholders and they'll say we well, can't read what's in the model uh, however they want the stakeholders somehow to understand it or, or work with it. So that's why we uh, tend to and in my work these days I always break um, my models up into sub pages so we can always work with them. In order to do that I use DoView outcomes and evaluation software because it's been designed to enable me to work uh, with a visual model which is broken into components and I can break it up into sub pages and then click through those different sub pages to look at the different aspects of the model. What uh, kinds of different sub pages should we divide our models up into? Um, let's have a wee look at an example and we're looking here at a smoking uh, reduction program and as with many programs this one's been divided up into the, the following levels. There's a project level and the project level is uh, a level which looks at uh, the details of what's happening in the project, a fairly low level kind of micro uh, level of activity within the project. And then above that we have a um, individual level which looks at the process of an individual reducing their smoking and that may be, there may be a media campaign involved in that but it may be changed attitudes, changed knowledge and reduce smoking as a consequence. Next we look at an organizational level and at the organizational level this may be about policies which organizations may implement to reduce smoking on their sites, sports clubs, bars etc. At a higher level again there's a regional level and at the regional level we're talking about things like support for local activists working on smoking issues and that leading to local laws which may restrict smoking within that region. And then lastly we have at a national level where we may have a group of, of stakeholders forming an advocacy coalition to implement national laws to restrict and reduce smoking. So you can see once we have a model like this and I'll be talking in other videos about how we can use it, we have plenty of space in which we can put additional aspects onto the model, for instance indicators, uh, evaluation questions or the evidence which is related uh, to links between the steps within the model. And so this is a particularly powerful way of working in a room of stakeholders as people generate and build the model together. Because it's in this format it can obviously put be put back together and put into a poster format for instance so you can see an overview of the model or it can be created into a web page model which you can put up on the internet for people to click through. I hope that you've found this presentation on uh, thinking about how to break up a logic model into sub pages useful in your evaluation and strategic planning and other work. Thank you very much.